It is a bizarre practice, but the female praying mantis sometimes eats her mate. The unusual meal provides nutrients for her eggs. A school of clownfish consists of a male and female breeding pair, along with a larger group of non-breeding males. If the female dies, the breeding male will switch its gender. For most organisms, mating is the reproductive act that enables individuals to pass on their genes. Let's learn more about reproductive strategy. Reproductive strategy refers to the ways in which a species ensures its offspring reach adulthood. The reproductive strategy evolves to maximize the number of offspring that reach maturity and reproduce. The animal world engages in various reproductive strategies. For example, zebras have a gestation period of about a year and produce a single foal that can live up to 40 years, while female sea turtles emerge from the ocean and lay 50 to 200 eggs. They cover the hole and retreat to the ocean hoping that at least one of their eggs survives to adulthood. There are two basic strategies. Parents can invest in a few offspring with long development to maturity, as in the zebra. Alternatively, parents can opt to produce many offspring with shorter time to maturity, as in the sea turtle. Each strategy, and how it has evolved in each species, is the result of a trade-off between number of offspring and development time. Scientists recognize the two reproductive strategies as R selection and K selection. Each species lies somewhere on the RK continuum, determined by evolution, which maximizes the reproductive success of a species' individuals. What kinds of environmental conditions make one strategy more successful than another? Stable, resource-rich environments with young exposed to predators produce case strategies of reproduction. Case strategies invest in development of offspring. Animals such as humans, elephants, dolphins, and plants, like sequoia trees, use a K reproductive strategy. A species' reproductive strategy affects its reproductive behavior and physical characteristics. For example, K strategists often choose mates through competitive mating rituals. They form pair bonds and create small families with few offspring. Pair bonding in small families enable the parents to care for offspring during a long developmental period, resulting in low juvenile mortality. Among K strategists, Body size is typically large, and reproductive maturity takes many years. The population of K species is stable. Humans are a prime example of a K species. We live in a stable environment, invest in long-term development, and care for just a few offspring. On the other end of the continuum, unstable environments with few resources and less predatory threat favor our selection reproductive strategies. Small rodents, most insects, bacteria, and weeds are examples of our species. Species within these groups have a lot of offspring and reach maturity quickly, often living short lives. Few our selected species engage in any sort of mate competition or mating rituals. Juvenile mortality is very high. The few individuals that reproduce do so only once or a few times, but they produce a large number of offspring. Among our selected species, parental care of offspring is usually absent. Offspring are capable of survival at birth and reach reproductive maturity quickly. The population size of our selected species often fluctuates widely. Evolution always acts to maximize the reproductive success of individuals. A particular reproductive strategy characterizes a species only because evolution has acted through natural selection to ensure each individual has the best chance possible of having offspring that will, in their turn, continue the next generation.